Neo, the Chinese Ethereum. That's how it was always referred to back in um, back in 2017. Um, so I want to take a real look at where Neo can go in this bull cycle. Um, fundamentally, I don't think massively high. Um, I'm going to talk about best case scenario in this video. But before I get into it, guys, if you're new here and you don't know what the spreadsheet is, these are the first 26 coins that I did videos about on the channel. In the videos, I showed myself buying up all of these coins. And if you'd have done the same, if you'd have popped $100 into each of these coins when I released the videos, sat on them for 16, 17 months and then sold them, your total profit in under a year and a half would have been over 123 grand. Now that's nearly a house. Thing is, is that we're already in a bull cycle. You don't have 18 months to sort of build your portfolio. Um, and once altcoin coin season kicks off, if you don't have a portfolio or your portfolio is full of rubbish coins, you're going to miss out on a ton of profits. So now is the time to actually sort out your portfolio, get prepared for what could be the biggest bull cycle in history. Um, if you don't know where to get started, go to copymycrypto.com. That's the site I run where I share my entire portfolio with my members. Whenever I add to my portfolio with a new coin, I tell my members what coin I'm buying and at what price. Whenever I sell a coin, I tell my members what coin I'm selling and at what price. This means my members have no work to do at all and they make the exact same profit as me. And if you go onto the site, you'll see what my members have made. And make no mistake about it, this year is going to be no different. They're going to make great money because we're already in a bull cycle. Portfolio is damn near sorted. So if you haven't got portfolio sorted, head over to copymycrypto.com, read through it all, verify it all, and try out the service, guys. Now, Neo. So what's worth noting for Neo is they have been up and running for years and years and years now. You know, they launched back in 2016. Um, actually, like a bit earlier than what it says there as well. Uh, went to crazy good heights in the first 2018 bull cycle. In the most recent one, only went up to about 120 bucks. So it's in actually from peak to peak, it's in a downtrend, right? Now, what is NEO? So NEO was referred to as the Chinese Ethereum. That was what it was always referred to as back in 2016, 17. Um, and look, it's an Ethereum competitor. It's a, um, it's a blockchain. It's a dual token blockchain as well because they use uh, NEO is effectively your governance token whilst uh, gas is what pays for all the transactions. Um, so if you're sending NEO somewhere, you have to pay in gas. Um, that really did sort of, I, like I quite liked NEO in the sense of moving money around so goddamn easy as well. It was cheap as hell. Um, they have now been upgrading uh, NEO for several years. Uh, its biggest uh, migration to N3 is complete. Um, and... Let me actually take a look at what Neo is, and um, and the the actual blockchain itself. Like they've done some good work. The problem is, fundamentally, we've not really seen tons from um, from a growth standpoint. We don't see um, we've not seen a big boom in the ecosystem. What we now make no mistake about it. Um, Really? Oh yeah, end up. Um, yeah, I mean, there, there's offices everywhere. Uh, obviously, uh, China, uh, but you've also got Russia, Switzerland, Spain, Brazil, um, and a couple places in America. And there's a lot of people that use this. There's a lot of people that have um, been in Neo for many, many years. Um, the team are pretty damn good you know what they actually built in a sh in a pretty short space of time from like 2016 to 2018 was damn good and it was quite exciting um it looked like there was a legit competitor for ethereum unfortunately it never really came to fruition you know when we actually look at um what's happening on neo now there are a number of dApps but the transactions that occur on those dApps are pretty few and far between. You're not talking about a lot. Flamingo Finance, the legacy one, is the one that has the most of like transactions 
on a um, on a daily basis and a weekly basis. Uh, their next best is Neoburger, and actually, when you look at like the transactions that are occurring on Neoburger um, per seven days, it's pretty damn weak. You know, you're looking at a couple hundred transactions a day. Um, so it's not like this is a a really evolved and heavily used ecosystem. Like I said, it's just Flamingo Finance's legacy one that is used massively. Um, and again, you know, there were days days when there's zero transactions apparently, and then there's days when there's 141,000. So um, I don't know how accurate this data is to be fair. Uh, it's also worth noting as well, um, like Flamingo Finance is effectively just um, similar to uh, sort of the DeFi protocols that we've seen before. Uh, you've got your vaults, you've got your swaps, you've got your uh, perpetual contracts. Per perpetual contracts is a good idea. Potentially uh, is a good way for um, to try and grow. But it is also worth noting, you know, they've got a lot of, like Flamingo Finance, you don't have to use Neo, you can use anything. So it might may well be that um, this the, these transactions refer to uh, interactions with Flam Flamingo's legacy uh, protocol on Ethereum or on something else. So right now, it's not phenomenal, you know, for the win. Let's have a look at this. This is a, another DAP. You know, again, what are we looking at? Best day, 71 transactions. So this is the problem. One, well, Neo has a really uh, strong blockchain that is really easy to shift money around and it's really easy to use. Development is just crap. Like we're not seeing uh, real development. They keep partnering with people. You know, they've partnered with a few uh, projects recently. They release bug bounties quite often. You know, they're trying to grow and they're trying to develop. Um, they give out monthly reports showing where they're at. This is one of the partnership announcements with uh, Rangers Protocol. Um, but you know, when you look at the landscape of the layer ones around crypto at the moment, we've got Avalanche, we've got Solana, we've got uh, Ethereum, we, and then you've got all the layer twos that most people use these days. Um, <clears throat> and actually when you look at uh, interoperability protocols when you look at uh, bridge networks neo doesn't feature man neo does not features it's certainly like a blockchain that's used and it's really solidified itself in the top 100 over the past six years um but it just ain't used in the way that um is needed for for it to be a legit competitor with anything um yeah because like again you know you're looking at transactions four minutes ago then seven minutes ago you know not this is not gas token contract invocations in the last 24 hours with uh gas 218 you know you're not really really not talking about tons <clears throat> tons of interactions with um the chain are you so, um, yeah, while I think it's a good chain and while I like, and while I think, um, back in 2016, 17, I think this had so much potential. I just think it's so far away from the potential it once had. It's really not lived up to it. The competition now is so great. I just think Neo is effectively now an established crypto that will still get volume and it will get usage a bit. But and it will have price appreciation in a bull cycle, but it's not going to have it's not having growth because no one's paying attention to it because of the emergence of all the other layer ones, and it's fallen by the side now. And you can see with the the peaks of each bull cycle, it's in a downtrend. So I honestly look at this and go, maybe best case scenario is about ninety bucks because in the last bull cycle it went up to one twenty, but in the first one it was up to about one hundred and ninety or something. So steadily falling. So if it was to fall another quarter from its from its high of 2021, it dropped to about 90 bucks, and that looks about right, really. Maybe it does more. 
you know, it isn't on Coinbase. So pretend, you know, if they got listed on Coinbase as an example, we'd see a massive, massive bounce. But overall, I mean, the thing, I think the probability of that is slim to none. Um, so we're just looking at a crypto that is established. Um, it gets used quite a lot in uh, when there's market, when there's uh, network congestions because NEO's um, like the, the speed of moving money around on NEO is fantastic. So it might get, there might be a surge in buying just to move some money around. But again, USDT can now be moved via Tron in seconds, you know, unless Tron, if Tron's not congested, that's what people will use. So I'm a little hesitant to say this is going to do much because I think the last few years has shown evidence that there's not been the the wider growth um, for NEO. So maybe 90 bucks. Uh, hesitant to say much else. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you are... If you use NEO, if you're one of the few that actually use NEO, um, whether it's their NFT platforms or whatever, or DeFi, uh, how do you like it? How does it compare to, you know, your Ethereums and your uh, Polygons and everything else? Why do you use NEO instead of others? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and guys, if you want to make the same profits as me in this bull cycle, you can do. All you have to do is join up at copymycrypto.com. That's the site I run where I share my entire portfolio with my members. And whenever I add to my portfolio with a new coin, I tell my members what coin I'm going to add and at what price. Whenever I sell a coin, I tell my members what coin I'm selling and at what price. This means my members make the exact same profits as me without having to do any work at all. Go onto the site, see what my members have earned. It's all public record. You can verify it all. This bull cycle is going to be no different. They're going to earn very, very well. And if you do not have your portfolio sorted get it done because in a matter of like a month or two it's gonna if you haven't sorted your portfolio it's gonna be too late you're gonna miss out on a ton of profits so now is the time to really sort it out um and if you read through copymycrypto.com if you have a look at all the success i'm sure you realize it's a site you've got to try out guys uh, and that's it for me have a good day bye bye